so you guys may be wondering why I'm going to even bother with this guy, because everyone's talking about him now, and I think we can all agree that it's a despicable waste of space. But the thing is, the other sort of people I respond to, at least from what I can ascertain, are really just following a trend. They'll probably just look back at their younger days when they are older and be all embarrassed, like, oh, that was the time I thought I was some weird gender amalgamation, and biological sex was a social construct. But at the best, Omnipolitic 16 will look on his youth as a time that he advocated for child molestation. And yes, sex with prepubescent children is by definition child molestation. Because those children are by definition not physically or mentally ready for sex, and therefore cannot consent. And as funny as it is to make fun of Omni and meme him, because come on, how is this meme I made of him not funny? It won't do anything to stop him from advocating something so despicable and horrible. So many people have been coming out with the story of child sexual abuse, and it's just heartbreaking to see the psychological damage it's done to these people. And I figured since he's only 16 and I'm 17, I might be able to get to him without sounding like a condescending adult. But I honestly feel almost like I'm going too soft on him. And trust me, I'm not. I know the guy's a sociopath, but not to brag too much, if he can feel any shred of empathy, I reckon I'm the best person who can try to get to him, considering I'm about the same age as him. So here goes. Here's my open letter to Omnipolitic 16 and all of the people who support him or otherwise condone pedophilia in any way, shape, or form. Omni, when you say that pedophilia is okay in some circumstances, and prepubescent children are more knowledgeable about sex, you're not understanding the core reason pedophilia is wrong. Children don't have the mental capacity to be ready for sex. You can try to educate them about sex all you want, but it's going to be hard to explain adult things to them in an age-appropriate way. But they're still not mature enough to understand the implications of them having sex, or the power that an older person holds over them in a relationship, or the inherent intimacy that comes with sex and the violation of their privacy if someone has sex with them at that age. And let's not even get into the fact that because those children haven't gone through puberty yet, they are physically not ready for sex either. In fact, child molestation can leave its victims with injury and even permanent physical damage. But that's nothing compared to the psychological damage that comes with child molestation. And yes, Omni, there is plenty of evidence to suggest that the psychological harm is inherent in sex itself. I'll look at plenty of said research in the description, and I want you to do a favor. Inundate yourself in the stories of those who have been sexually abused as children. I'll link a lot of resources in the description so that you can do that. I'll link several documentaries talking about the sort of damage child molestation does to people. Just a quick side note. If you're going to start looking for these sort of documentaries, don't watch Child of Rage, because that's... A, a really disturbing documentary that will give you nightmares, and B, more importantly, the story behind it, it has some major inconsistencies and conflicts of interest. And I'm trying to contact Jeff Holiday and ask him to do a video exposing that documentary, actually. He hasn't responded yet, as he's really busy, but hey, it can't hurt to dream. But anyway, yeah, just a little piece of advice. Also linked to some videos by YouTubers about their own personal experiences with child molestation, many of which were in response to your videos, by the way. So you can hear about experiences that don't just come from a documentary. If you have a shred of empathy for anyone, these stories should break your heart. And I hope you'll realize just the extent of psychological damage that this does to people. Now I want you to look at all the resources I linked and come back to this video later. Now that you've looked at all of that, I want to address two different videos you made. One on your main channel and one on your one of your alternate channels, the Elemental Bronx. And that is your channel. Don't deny it. That is definitely your channel. So the one you made on your alternate channel, this was a few months ago, so I understand that you may have changed your opinion since then, was a rant about the fact that there's no child porn on YouTube, and you were complaining about that for some reason. You also said that child porn doesn't hurt anyone, which it does, and the child porn laws were quote-unquote a gimmick. I found that really disturbing, because you A, denied that child porn is created via child sexual abuse, and B, you heavily implied that you had watched child porn, which you denied on that stream you did with Andy Worski, Chris Worski, and Blair White. If you have watched child porn Omni, you've indirectly contributed to the sexual abuse of children, and you should get in legal trouble for that. But it's not just legal trouble that you should be worried about Omni. As you've seen from the resources I linked, you should know that contributing to sexual abuse of children, whether directly or indirectly, is disgusting, reprehensible behavior. Then there's that other video where you apologize for what you said on the stream with Andy, Chris, and Blair. And I commend you for at least partially apologizing. But still, some of the things you said in that apology were very concerning. You said you'd change some of your views from an emotional standpoint, but not from a cognitive standpoint, which indicates that you still believe having sex with children is okay. You also seem to be very confused by the specific sex act of the molestation that happened to Andy when he was four. You were confused by the fact that the teenage girl who molested Andy sat in his face. You said that you called it a kink, 
because only perverts would be interested in that. And he justified that as the reason that Andy was traumatized by the experience. You know, not the fact that he was forced into sex act at the age of four. The main part you missed about her sitting on his face, as evidenced by the fact that she was rubbing her genitals all over him and asking him to lick them, is that she was trying to force him to have oral sex with her, which is rape, because it's forcing someone to have sex. But you don't understand that, it seems. I'm sorry, I'm getting so angry, but you just don't understand that having sex with little kids is rape. I mean, you probably have little cousins and other relatives, right? I have a five-year-old little cousin, and I love him in bits. He's adorable, and he's awesome. Which is the exact reason why I would never hurt him in any way, much less scar him for life. The fact that you would even think about damaging someone for life for your own selfish sexual gratification is absolutely appalling. I mean, you've admitted that you babysit young kids in your family. Don't you know how innocent they are and how young they are? I mean, I'm your age, and I know children are vulnerable. How do you not realize that? And don't get me wrong, Omni, I don't wish any harm upon you, at least if you're being truthful about not watching child porn or touching any children. I understand it must be horrible to be a pedophile and suffer from urges to rape children, even if you don't realize that. I understand that pedophilia is a mental illness that needs treatment, and I don't believe in hating people just because they're pedophiles, as long as they're trying to get help. So I recommend that you get help. And don't just say you'll get help, you have to want to get help, because that's the only way you can successfully get over being a pedophile. And realizing how horrific pedophilia is should be your motivation for seeking treatment, not the fact that you don't want to go to jail. I hope you can turn your life around, because you're still young and still have a chance to do so. I want you to think about what you want in life, because I know you're probably interested in other things than advocating for pedophilia. I know what I'm saying sounds cheesy, but honestly, thinking about my long-term goals is the only thing that has kept me motivated at times. So in conclusion, as much as I despise your views, I wish the best for you, and I hope you can overcome your problems. Well, feel the phone blast!